Joe Christie against Ilio DiPaolo, and as you can see, Killer Joe has his right hand all wrapped up in tape. And Killer Joe, as you may recall, was a pretty good heavyweight fighter a few years ago. He fought some pretty good names, fellas like Tony Galeno and that type of fighter. And Joe has never forgotten that he was a prize fighter. And he comes in each week. I think this is the third straight week that he has had that bandage on his hand. And it's actually taped up just as though it would be for fighting before they put the glove on. And he uses it as a sledgehammer. And we told you about a little excitement. In the last few minutes, we had a short intermission here at the auditorium. And during that period, Ilio DiPaolo and Billy Lyons were demonstrating some wrestling holes and the breaks. Dick Byer was commentating and calling the shots just to show the different ones. And it was a very popular uh, program here with the audience. But uh, toward the end of it, Joe Christie came in, and he got there just as they were talking about body slams. And Joe tried to get both Billy and Ilio out of the ring. And finally, DiPaolo rushed over and demonstrated the body slam on Killer Joe Christie. And as it happened, uh, Ilio was to meet Joe, so he stayed right in the ring. So it's been some excitement here at the auditorium. Now Ilio with the head scissor on Killer Joe and Christy digging there for the trunks to try to pull the DiPaolo off. And Joe has the Christy pinned pretty good here. Got the crisscross on him. They're honored to take the tape off Christie. So far, he hasn't used it. Now, here's Christie with the standing headlock. Oh, he used that tape that time. You can see him doing it. He used it to punch Ilio right in the eye, and then he rubbed the tape across both eyes. Now oh, he's really using that as a plug. Holy mackerel, how Ilio DiPaolo hit Joe Christie. He really let him have it. I don't know if Joe is crying there or what, but his chest is heaving. What a whack Ilio gave him that time. Ilio's action is him off here. Christie has not fully recovered from that smash he got. Now he's coming to a little bit. Just a little bit, though. He came off the ropes with that elbow smash that really put Joe Christie on the deck. Now the standing headlock. Joe Christie has a pretty good cauliflower ear now, and this isn't helping it any. Video keeps shifting that headlock. I told you a little earlier that this is the final wrestling show on the Dow Wrestling Series. But wrestling will continue at a different time. Next week, for instance, the day after this day, it will be coming to you at 4.15 Saturday afternoon. And every week from that time after, it'll be at 4.30. And Dow, meanwhile, will be with you on all the big four Canadian football games. And they're getting into that playoff period in Canada, and it's exciting football, Canadian football at its very best, and Dow Kings Beer Brewery Limited is most happy to send that football your way. So watch for those games. 
is the old merry-go-round, and here they go. And Ilio wound up on the bottom for a moment. Boy, he was in danger for a second. He was in danger of being pinned for a moment. You can see Joe Christie's left hand sticking through the leg there. Ilio with a wrist lock, but he's applying it with that left leg of his, his right leg, and he's putting plenty of pressure on it. The wrist is caught between the calf and the lower thigh, and he's putting some pressure on, and this will take all the feeling out of that hand. Again, he uses that to bludgeon him behind the ears. There's that arm grasp takedown, and there's a bar arm lock. Oh, doesn't that hurt just to watch it? He's lifting him up all by that one arm. Joe Christie would love dearly to get outside the ring for a couple minutes and get a little rest. Ilio isn't going to let him do it if he can help it. Joe Moscato, our referee, now fighting with Joe Christie to take that tape off. If at some time during his career, Joe Moscato fought Joe Christie. They came from about the same period. Now they're going to take that tape off. They're both getting it up on Christie. But Elio says he doesn't care. Let it stay on. Look at Christie go. He finally got outside the ring. Christie is a colorful performer. Whether you like him personally or not, he gives you your, your money's worth in the ring. <laughs> Flying mare this time. Ilya went the other way. There's that double knee drop. Similar to that, cost Yukon Eric half of his ear. A knee drop to the head that slid off, sheared half of Yukon Eric's ear right off his head. Killer Kowalski was the gilly part of that time. There's a hammer lock with a little, a little extra on it. time we see Elio de Paolo, we're impressed by the, the strength and the brute power of this man. 250 pounds, and I don't believe there's an extra ounce of flesh on him. And we think back to his very younger days when he was a polio victim as a child. And even to this day, one of his legs is a little smaller. His right leg is a little smaller than the left one. But that's the only mark he got from that. He's, and certainly he has shown that... Uh, Will, the determination and willpower will conquer most things. Even that tape that's on Joe Christie's right hand. Joe 
Joe Moscato is trying to help get the tape off, but Ilio doesn't seem to care. He says, I'll take care of him. But he spoke a little too soon. Christie's arm caught around the rope. <laughs> An elbow smash under the chin. Here comes the tape for getting it off. There it is. He's got it off. Now he's going to wrap it around his neck. Joe Christie finally stripped of his protective covering. He is bouncing like a yo-yo. There he is, airplane spin. Airplane spin. Joe Christie on the merry-go-round, and down he goes, and if he gets up from that, can not do it. Look at Joe Christie. He's got a wire look. Oh, he ran into another one. I feel sorry for him. He's taking an awful going over. Look at Joe. Joe Moscato will uh, counter with one, two. Here's Manny Weiss. The time, 10 minutes, 51 seconds. The winner, Ilio DiPaolo. Look out, Ilio. 10.51, Ilio DiPaolo, the winner. And while Ilio is one of our favorite performers, I must say I feel a little sorry for Joe Christie because he took an awful going over in there. And the crowd is all against somebody.